All right, I got my new gold genie set up. In the future, I'm going to make videos of removing black sand from raw material and then getting the gold out of that black sand. In the meantime, I thought I'd do a video review of the product. This is my second gold genie. I owned one back in the late 80s. When me and the wife were dating, we did a lot of recreational mining and a lot of prospecting in Southern Oregon. Now that we've become empty nesters and are back into our favorite hobby, we decided to get another gold wheel. Well, in that 25 some odd years, a lot of competition has hit the market, a lot of different wheels, a lot of different designs. And I understand that Joby Wholesale actually purchased the rights to the Gold Genie are now the manufacturer and the distributor. I don't believe that they sell to the public, they sell to their suppliers. I bought this from Black Cat Mining in Medford, Oregon. As you can see the system operating here, I'll go over some of the features. After doing my homework and reading reviews and looking at all the new systems, I settled back on the Gold Genie. And I'm really glad I did. Joby Wholesale has made some improvements to the system since the last time I've had it. One is the stand that they have, which is the entire platform that the system rests and operates off of. It's very strong. It's very well built. It's lightweight and it's very stable. They've changed something here on the stand. Now each leg can be adjusted for height independently. Works much like a sluice box stand. And in any terrain or any area you're going to be able to make this level very easy. The old system actually had a piece of steel between the legs that connected them on the front and the back which made it very hard to level sometimes in the field that's not a problem anymore they've addressed that issue another change that they've made is the catch system the original gold genie and some of the manufacturers I think most of them still use a little hook here with a little tiny cup and I suppose that's okay if you're just getting gold out of black sand but if you're going to remove black sand from raw material, you had to put a bigger cup on it right away. They've addressed this issue. They have a hanging steel frame here that comes on and is removable, which rests a 10-inch gold pan. Now this serves three purposes. One, you're able to see the stuff that's coming out of your material in real time as it's coming. You a lot more area down here to see. And let's face it, it's fun to see the gold plunk out of your system. It's what we're in it for, to find gold. And with this larger area, you can see what's happening as it's happening. The second thing is, that's a lot larger area. I doubt I'm going to be able to fill up this pan with black sand running material. So it gives you a lot more room to uh, manage your stuff and, and allow the wheel to work as you're processing a lot of material. And then the third thing is, when you're complete, it's already in a pan you can just take the pan off this frame and it's handy and easy to deal with the material being in a pan. The features of this particular model and how you make it work and how you use it I'll describe. Here we have a knob that screws either in or out which adjusts the angle of the wheel. Typically you'll set that at about 45 degrees to get started and then you'll make minor adjustments using this dial. I have it set up as a recirculating system now so my pump is in the reservoir here leading up to this faucet which you control the spray bar and turning the water low or high depending on your needs and the material you're running. The motor here in the back have a couple switches. It's a 12 volt system. As you can see the motor is turning a belt attached to the base of the wheel here and to the motor pulley here. This switch controls the water so if you like to run dry material you don't have to use the water you just turn off the water and run the wheel. And then the wheel has a high low speed so this is the low speed 
and that's the high speed. I typically use the high speed and a higher water flow to remove black sand from raw material and then I go back and use a low speed and lower water flow to get the gold out. And as I mentioned it's a 12 volt pump or 12 volt motor and I now have it attached to a 12 volt battery converter. I'd like to mention I have it plugged into a ground fault protection circuit. I have it wired to the house but if you don't have a ground fault protection circuit you can buy an extension cord type. It's advisable anytime you have water and electricity in close proximity. Now I opted for the miners model. The miners model includes this big black tailings pan here that connects directly to the frame on both sides. It, it's solid, it's stable, it's some kind of hard polymer. It's a high quality material that they're using. When the material falls off the front of the wheel, the lighter material, it is all the tailings are directed to the back of the unit. In this case, I have two reservoirs here at home. I have the luxury to run a lot of water. And this reservoir here is for tailings. As you saw, the pump is in the front reservoir. And I have them attached with a two inch pipe and a union joint that I can unscrew and deal with both of them independently gives me the opportunity to run a lot of material. It keeps my pump from getting exposed to debris and giving any problem to the propeller. And I can run a lot of material with this. If I was going to take it into the field though, I would use a five gallon bucket at the end of this tailings bin and I'd put my pump in a net and run it off a battery. I like this tailings bin because the old model that I had you, you either had a choice to use a pump or a hose and when we had it at, ho at home and, and attached a hose here and we didn't have a tailings bin you would get your feet wet and you get a big pile of rocks in front of you that got in the way because that's where you're loading it from and it was kind of messy this makes it a lot more organized and it gives the ability to run a lot of material now the number one reason that I bought the Gold Genie after doing my homework was its spiral system. If you look close here you'll see two entry points into the wheel here one and two which equates back to two pickup points on the wheel so every half revolution it picks up material. I've seen some of the models have seven or nine different groove systems and I would imagine those are okay if you're just getting the larger pieces of gold and the flakes out both systems or any of these wheels will actually get the larger stuff out but this two groove system is much better for the fine particles of gold you can't even see let me let me explain why when you are running material you have all different types of material different densities you have clay you have sand and it becomes a process of managing the angle and the water flow what this two groove system allows you to do is when you when you put material here in the bottom the heavier material starts to work up and so I'll set this thing originally at 45 degrees and set my water flow based on my material how it's classified what type of material and the size of the gold and what you're able to do is get a balance in this set of grooves here with your heavier material as you get started now once you have that balance based on the material you're working, you're able to just come right over here and make the minor adjustments by turning the angle of the wheel and the flow of the water. The main reason I like to take the black sand out first is you can capture gold so small you can't even see it. It'll work its way up with the black sands at first and then when I go back and separate the gold from the black sand I'm able to make the adjustments very precisely on this system and, and get the finest smallest gold that you could imagine. Of course all the wheels get the big gold. Now the wheels that have these multiple grooves it just it, it works too quick. It, it, it scoops every eighth of a revolution or whatever it does and, and the gold goes shooting up and again that's good for big gold and flakes any of these machines can do that but for the fine gold it operates too quickly a friend of mine has one of those and we've done comparisons in the past and this two groove system on the gold genie is far superior getting the, the smallest of gold 
That's pretty much my video review of the system. Before I conclude, I'd like to give kudos to Joby Wholesale when I first bought this system and fired her up for the first time. I heard a little clanking in my motor somewhere here. So I shut her down and I called Joby Wholesale. I didn't call the supplier I bought it from. I called the manufacturer direct. And they told me if I wasn't satisfied, they'd be happy to send me a new motor. They didn't question anything. It just was an issue of my satisfaction. Of course, uh, it turns out after the phone call, I came back out here and I jumped the gun because after getting after running this for another couple minutes it quieted down so what I imagine that was is the grease just needed to be spread out through a new motor and as you can hear now it is quiet and as smooth as can be so kudos to Joby Wholesale for standing behind their product and hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be running some videos real soon of material and just show you how good this thing operates.